Hello, and welcome to part five of our Igenity Beef dashboard walkthrough. In this section, we will be discussing another tool that is available to you, in which we call the benchmark graphs. To get started, we must first log in. Please be sure to view dashboard in Google Chrome for the best results. Once you have reached igenitybeefdashboard.com, enter your email and password to log in. As a reminder, in order to view multiple orders at once, simply click the check boxes next to the orders you'd like to include. Once all of those orders are selected, you may click View Heard Results. To utilize some of the tools available on Dashboard, open the drop down menu by selecting the blue Tools button in the top left hand corner. In previous sections of the Igenity Beef walkthrough, we have discussed how to export to Excel as well as create a custom index. For this section, please click Benchmark Graph if you wish to view your herd's data as a comparison to the reference population of Igenity Beef. Once you select Benchmark Graph, you will be brought to the Benchmark Graphing page. This option is a way to compare the cattle that you have tested with others in the Igenity Reference Database. The green curved line represents the trend of the data that you have selected from the Igenity Beef Reference Population. As an example, the animals currently selected from the Confidence Cattle Reference Database have more cattle with Igenity scores 5 and 6 for calving ease maternal than the reference population. It appears that Confidence Cattle is doing a better job on average compared to the reference data for calving ease maternal because their scores are higher than that of the reference population. Using the benchmark graphing is a way to compare the cattle that you have tested with others in the current Igenity database. To orient you to the graph that you are viewing, the horizontal axis or x-axis represents the range of possible Igenity scores, obviously from one to 10. The vertical axis or the y-axis represents the percent of animals in the confidence cattle herd view that have received a certain score. Therefore, it makes sense that the green bars on the graph represent the percent of animals or the animals in the current herd view that have received the aligning Igenity score. In this case, for Igenity Beef's calving ease maternal. The green curve line is actually the trend line of the data that has been selected from the Igenity Beef reference population. For this example, it appears that Confidence Cattle has a larger number of animals who have received a 5 or 6 for calving ease maternal compared to the reference population. Likewise, they have received less animals with a 3 or a 4. Because of this, it seems that Confidence Cattle is doing a better job at selecting for calving ease maternal than the average of the reference population. If you wish to further analyze the data and view specific animals who have received a certain score, simply click on the corresponding bar. Here you can see those animals who have received a calving ease maternal score of three will appear in the drop-down menu below. You are not limited to simply benchmarking for the calving ease maternal trait. By selecting the green box in the top left-hand corner, you can select different traits to compare your animals to the database. You may also expand or limit the animals that you wish to compare your data to using the reference data tool. Once you select the reference data button, a window will appear. The options you can use to limit or expand the data include comparing to your herd only, controlling the sex of the animals you're comparing to, changing the sire or dam breed, 
the country of origin, or the state. As you change these options, the arrow on the benchmark strength graph at the bottom of the box will change. This indicator shows the strength of the benchmark data that you are comparing to, with the red being the lowest and thus the weakest reference data and green being the strongest. Please note that we do not recommend comparing to a reference database with a red benchmark strength, as that might be too low for meaningful comparison. The final option when on the benchmark report page is the ability to create a full benchmark report. This tool allows you to compare animals to others for multiple traits at once. When you select that button, another box or menu will appear. This box allows you to select what specific traits you wish to have printed in your benchmark report. You may select as many or as few as you wish. Once you have selected the traits of interest, simply click Create Report. Once you select this button, the report will automatically start downloading onto the page. One graph will be generated for every trait selected. You will notice on the header of your report, your account or ranch name, in this case, Confidence Cattle Company, will appear, as well as the date in which the report was generated and the order numbers included. Also, if you placed any sire or dam breed restrictions or state restrictions on your reference data, it will also be located in the header. Following, you will see the benchmark graphs that were generated for each trait you selected. Once it has finished downloading, the PDF download option will appear at the bottom of the screen. To download and save, simply select the arrow or tear it to open the options list. Then select Open and the PDF will download into a savable or printable format. Once again, we thank you for your continued support of iGenity Beef and your patience as we walk through the benchmark reporting section of our dashboard walkthrough. If you have any questions, please contact us at igenity.support at We'd be happy to help.